What's up everybody, Sensei Adrian Galvan coming at you here from the Home Dojo. This is gonna be this week's Technique of the Week. All right, I'm very excited about this one. Um, it's about landing lead leg kicks. All right, this is something that I've done throughout my career in numerous different organizations, rule sets, and I've made it work for me. Sometimes I have to adjust it just a little bit depending on the rule sets. But basically we're gonna talk about how from your front leg all right, chambering the front leg, how you can throw three good scoring uh, techniques from there, all right? It's the uh, side kick, the roundhouse, and the hook kick, all right? Um, why the lead leg? Because the lead leg is closest to my opponent, all right? So it is one of the things I wanna try to use the most and I can be very versatile with it, so different scoring techniques, all right? Um, also, stay tuned for, before I forget, later in the video, I'm going to have a, another challenge that we had from our Team USA member. We'll call, we're going to call it that. That's going to be called the Sakura Shoe Challenge, we'll call it, all right? But that's at the end of the video. I already had a couple students do it, so I, I'm going to make a little video and clip uh, her into it, and then the stu my students who have uh, completed it as well, all right? So just so I don't forget. But now, back to the technique of the week, all right? So we're doing lead leg kicks, all right? So again, practicing from the same chamber. All right, for, from this chamber, I should be able to do a side kick, a roundhouse, or a hook kick. All right, now we're going to break it down simplest form, all right, because we need to practice perfect technique. And what I want you to do, everybody has a wall in their house, so you can practice with a hand on the wall. If you have a partner, you can practice with a partner, all right, but hand on the wall, hand on a chair, anything you can have, hand on the bag if you want to, all right, but we need to focus on doing it correctly. So the main thing is when you're doing here, you're chambering is your back foot is pointed away, all right? So pointed towards the wall. And then from here, side kick, roundhouse, hook kick, all right? Obviously for tournament scoring purposes, a side kick is to the body. Roundhouse can be to the body or the head and a hook kick is to the head. So know your targets, know where you wanna throw them. I'm not gonna throw a side kick to the head. I'm not gonna throw a hook kick to the body, all right? So those three kicks, the simplest drill you can do is knee up and just practicing those kicks over and over. I'm just practicing hook kick now. Now I'm gonna to go to roundhouse, knee up, same point, roundhouse. All right, now side kick, knee up, side kick, side kick, all right? Make sure that knee, when it comes up, your leg is here, all right? Again, those three kicks from that position. So what I like to do with my students, um, even some people I do private lessons with, MMA fighters, is we pick that leg up and you do those three kicks, hook kick, Roundhouse, side kick, in any order. Mix up the order, that way you can be versatile. But those three kicks, do those three kicks before putting your leg down. So I'll just do a few to demonstrate. And again, try to pay attention to where you're throwing them. All right, hand on the wall, chair, whatever you have. Other hand up, all right, practicing good habits. Because really, this is the way to practice, but this is the way how you're gonna do it eventually. I want you to get to that point. All right, so hand on the wall, leg is up from this chamber. I'm gonna go side, hook, round, knee down. All right, now this time I might go hook, round, side, knee down. All right, so those are just combinations. You can play with it, have fun with it. Um, the more advanced you get, the more kicks you can add. We do a partner drill, I love to do it, where I tell them where to hit, round, round, double hook, and you have to throw those combinations. So that's just another progression of the drill when you have partner uh, partners to do the drills with. Right now I'm trying to give you drills you can do at home since we're stuck at home. Some of us don't have training partners, so you gotta get creative. All right, so now, once you're off the wall, hands up, you have some space to work. I want you to work on picking that leg up and don't even kick yet. Just knee up and then reset. Knee up, reset. All right, if you have someone with you, you can have them tell you what kick to do maybe. Without, with, even from here, wait till you get here and then they, they, they yell out side kick, boom, you throw the side kick. They yell out hook kick, you do the hook kick. They yell out roundhouse, you do it. But every time, perfect as you can, technique. All right, so I'm gonna do like slow, medium, fast. And this is, this. the purpose of this drill is to hit, reset, stay ready. Hit, reset, stay ready, all right? So I'll start easy, all right? We'll do a hook kick first, all right? I'll, I'll do that one slow. So knee up. Hook kick. All right, now I'll go medium speed. And now fast or scoring speed. Ah, yeah! All right, and back. All right, so that was just doing that with one kick, all right? Do it with roundhouse, do it with side kick. Next progression is to do it across the floor. And what does that mean? Uh, line drills we do at the dojo. 
but I'm going to go across the floor. I can have someone count or I can do it on my own. But every time I do it, I might want to do a different kick. So maybe the first time, uh, make somebody counts, or I'm just doing it on my own, side kick. And then I'm ready. Next time, roundhouse. Next time, hook kick. And I do this going across the floor. That's offensive. Next, defensive. All right, so for defensive, you want to get a, some distance between you and your opponent. Think of someone blitzing at you or maybe leaving those little openings you can take advantage of. So fighting stance, defensive step back, all right? And then boom, you throw that technique. Don't get caught in the middle and jumping and kicking back at the same time. That's a bad technique. A good fighter, especially a powerful fighter, they'll go through you. All right, or they'll grab the weak technique, maybe even sweep you, hit you. All right, so from here, get some space. Know you have distance behind you. One defensive step back, boom, throw that technique. All right, and then always try to land ready to throw again, ready to block. All right, um, so that's the progression. Doing it offensively, across the floor, defensively, across the floor. Next progression, unless you are really, 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 really good, all right, it's very hard sometimes to just land a technique by just throwing it out there. All right, so the highest level, you have to set it up, whether it's movement, fake, off of a technique, all right, so doing this offensively, add some techniques in there, all right, add a fake, add a jab, add a reverse punch, all right, but throw, if they're fakes, throw them convincingly. If they're techniques, make sure they're full techniques and then look for that as a follow-up, a finisher. Maybe they block your jab, reverse punch, and then boom, their head's wide open for a technique, all right? So offensively, think of setups. Defensively, think of, boom, defensive step back and hit. I say defensive step back so you don't get crowded. Sometimes you see the leg come up, maybe for a side kick, and it gets jammed. All right, some people are really flexible. Some usually, some, a lot of girls out there, they're doing kumite, they're really flexible. They have this really pretty kicks, beautiful kicks. And they can get away with not having to always do as big of a defensive step or even a defensive step. They can just boom, throw it out there and kick, which is beautiful. All right, if you have that advantage, take advantage of it while you can. All right, but everybody get used to using that defensive step back. It's a better habit and boom, then throwing that defensive kick. All right, so you got from the chamber here, work on those three kicks. I kind of gave you some progressions to do it, drills you can do with a partner, without a partner. If you have a partner, they can hold pads for you. And boom, you're doing these drills across the floor. They're coming in at you, you're doing your defensive drills. All right, so gave you some options with a partner, without a partner, with a pad, without a pad. And hopefully you guys can take advantage. Please use this time and try to get better. Be your hardest critic. Um, look at your technique, correct your technique. Want more out of your technique, more out of yourself. All right, I'm, I'm working on it too while just being in home and I'm, I'm training every day and um, I'm focused on my technique, just things I can work on on myself without having training partners. All right, so that is this week's technique of the week. Yeah.